343 is fixing Halo this month. With this February update preview blog showcasing all the stuff that's going to be fixed within Halo Infinite. And it will be going live on Wednesday, February 15th. For UI UX changes saying that the ranked CSR widget now communicates increase and decrease in CSR more clearly. And they state that in the winter update that the UI UX has showcased exactly what, how much CSR you went up and down, which is really great. And it showcased a bar instead of like a number. But the thing is that every time you looked at the number, it said plus slash minus seven or eight or how much you went up or down. That's really confusing because you're like, okay, did I go up seven? Did I go down seven from that loss? Couldn't tell. So my assumption is that they'll probably just showcasing a plus seven or minus seven or however much CSR you gained or lost. Also, apologize for no webcam. My voice is a little shot. But the details stop for nobody. Weapon spawns are changing within Halo Infinite as well. Saying in ranked arena playlists and HCS, each weapon rack will now be be set to a red rack state after a weapon is picked up. This means once a weapon is picked up, the weapon rack won't spawn another weapon until the original weapon has despawned. This is an update that 343 previously talked about in the HCS blog that we covered on the channel here. This is an attempt to kind of tame the sandbox a little bit in ranked experiences so you have much more consistent gunfights rather than having everything kind of almost like Fiesta in a way. They also talk about ammo reductions coming to a few weapons later on in the season, those weapons being the Heat Wave, Stalker Rifle, the Bulldog, as well as the Shock Rifle within Season 3's launch. The Frag Grenade is getting a nerf in the radius of its damage, meaning that the radius is going to go from 2.7 world units to 2.5 world units. So a little bit of a nerf, probably nothing that would be too crazy, but something that would actually help out a little bit. And what was also mentioned in a previous blog update that we covered on the channel here, saying that the drop weapon mechanic will now have the same speed as normal weapon switching. Ever since the launch of Halo Infinite, it's always been faster to drop your weapon rather than switch to it. So a lot of people have kind of abused that mechanic to quicken the time to kill in mainly ranked, but it's also been seen quite often within social experiences. A big thing for me within this update is that the S7 Sniper will have its air angle reduced when no scoping. Saying that the air angle max reduced to 30%, air angle minimum reduced by 55%, and time to reset the bloom reduced by 20%. It's been a big issue within Halo Infinite that the no scoping has a random bullet deviation. So you can line up a shot perfectly on someone's head and sometimes it just won't hit at certain ranges. Interesting thing though, that 343 did state that Halo Infinite's S7 sniper rifle no scope air angle properties were in line with previous Halo titles, which made me the stats line up. But from my experience that the S7 sniper rifle in Halo Infinite has been way too inaccurate when it comes to going for no scopes. So this is a fantastic change. They also have a list of three major bug fixes. One being various client and server stability improvements. This will hopefully reduce that amount of ping fluctuations that we see within the game. Hopefully it's a nice step forward. Improvements to reduce the gun jamming on semi-automatic weapons. I've come across this a lot when it comes to the plasma pistol. That when you try to click it, sometimes it just doesn't respond properly. And we've covered that previously on the channel here and improvements to reduce a visual glitch that made semi-automatic weapons appear as if they were double firing from a third person point of view. Again, it's probably much more of a campaign kind of thing. 343 also states that there will be additional balance changes when season three goes live on March 